Well, two years ago, the West Virginia legislator put out an on-call for ways to help combat the opioid epidemic. And students at Greenbrier East High School within the HOSA Future Health Professionals Organization took it upon themselves to create a preventative curriculum for middle and high school students. They have since been recognized on the national level. And Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders spoke with them today about their lesson plan and the impact it's already having. Created by students for students, addressing the West Virginia opioid crisis is already being taught in the Greenbrier County schools, and the four students behind the project want to take it statewide. We kind of created some games, some realization activities, some videos, a movie, kind of different things that keep students engaged. Where we're in the classroom, we know what works, we know what's effective for us, how we like to learn. So that's, we kind of compiled all of that into one lesson plan to make it a little more effective for students. Last summer, the students on the Medical Reserve Corps team from Greenbrier East High School won first place at an international competition in Orlando for their lesson plan, and they just got back from the state capitol after presenting to the Public Health Caucus. Margaret Dodd, a health occupations teacher at Greenbrier East, advises the team and says what sticks out is not only the thoughtfulness of the curriculum, but the fact that it was created by students. She said that has not only opened the eyes of legislators and other adults, but also the students who are learning from it. Instead of, you know, us as adults saying you need to do this, you need to do that, they're taking the initiative and they're trying to fix the problem, so it makes me feel like we have a very bright future ahead of us. As two get ready for college and the other two get ready for senior year, they all hope this lesson plan will continue in their schools and beyond and prove to other students that you're never too young to make an impact. It's really exciting because who would have ever thought me in 11th grade was part of this curriculum that's helping fight the opioid epidemic that like overtook our state. So it's really like interesting and exciting. The team leaves for a state competition this weekend at Marshall, which could lead them to another international win. Reporting in Greenbrier County, I'm Anna Saunders, News Watch. The team plans to tackle vaping next.